What's up everybody, Ricky Carruth here. Welcome back to my channel. So I just got off of the stage. Basically, it's a virtual stage now. We can't travel and do events like we used to do, and man, I miss it. I just wanna travel and I wanna get on stages. I wanna see you guys face to face, and we just can't do that quite yet. We're going to at some point in the future, okay? This too shall pass. But I just got off the virtual summit with the Florida Realtors. It was an incredible event. There were 600 agents watching. I went through so many incredible points. And the name of my presentation was Quit Obsessing Over Transactions okay, and Focus on Relationships. Every relationship that you create with a human being in your market is literally 10 to 20 deals over the life of your career. And the more relationships you can stack up and build a personal brand behind, okay, the larger your real estate will be and it will snowball into a monster. So shout out to the Florida Realtors and the association down there for having me. Thank you so much, I really enjoyed it. So a couple weeks ago it came out that we just had the largest real estate surge month over month that we've seen since the 60s. Okay, the 60s, all right, that's a long time. This is a massive surge right now. This is the best market that I've ever seen. I talk about it in other videos. I'll link a video below where I talk about my specific view on the health of the real estate market. This is by far the most solid, healthy real estate market that I've seen in all of my 18 years, okay, and my research of the history of the market. All right, we've never had lending restrictions like this. We've never had a surge of end user buyers. People that are buying property right now are not buying it to flip it. They're not buying it on speculation. The investors are buying long-term rentals to hold. The, the people who are buying houses, they're buying houses to live in. People that are buying condos on the beach are buying them to, to use it and rent while they're not here. They're not buying these properties to flip on speculations. That's when you get into a problem with the market is when you have a lot of speculation going on, the escalation of prices, okay, then that creates the bubble. So I'm in the middle of, I believe, what's gonna end up being my best year ever. Okay, so I've made over a million dollars for the last three years. This will be year number four, but I think I'm probably gonna hit 1.1 or more. We'll see how it all shakes out, but a couple weeks ago I had a record, a record 30 deals under contract at one time. I got up to 26 or 27, I think it was maybe six years ago, I had about 27 deals under contract at one time. Um, and then, you know, maybe three weeks ago, I got up to 22 or 23 pending, and that was getting close to a record there, you know, and then boom, it jumped up to 30, and I was like, what is going on with the market? What is happening out there? Um, it's just incredible to see this surge, and I'll tell you what, right now, I'm taking advantage of every last drop of this incredible market and you need to be too. You need to be hitting it as hard as you can because this is not going to last forever. This could last a while, but the market is going to change. The market is going to fluctuate. Things are going to move around. It's just the nature of the beast. It's mother nature. So, so definitely, I want you to take advantage of every last drop of this market. So a couple weeks ago, over the last two weeks, I closed eight properties put a few more under contract. I'm still sitting at like 22 pending right now, somewhere around there. And to be sitting right here where I am right now just makes me want to look back and think about everything that I went through to get here. And I want to tell you what the most important part of everything that I'm doing, that what has got me where I am today is sheer, I want to say the word grit, all right? I think, I think just sheer determination it's just like nothing is gonna stop me from getting there. If you look at all my content, it's not the greatest content in the world. Hold on. Okay, I'm not the best YouTuber out there, by far not the best YouTuber or social media guy or any of that. I don't have the largest following by any means, but I don't stop. I keep plugging along, I keep trying to get better, I keep working on my craft, and I keep moving in a positive direction regardless of what happens, okay? That's how you need to be with everything in your life. You need to continue pushing regardless of the outcome. Every single person has trials and tribulations, okay? Every single person can come up with excuses of why they shouldn't be where they are or why they're not where they wanna be. 
okay? I could tell you tons of things right now. I could tell you a million things that's happened to me over the last 20, 30 years that, that I could have used as an excuse and a crutch, easy. End of story, okay? There's, there's things that have happened here lately that I could say, you know what, that happened, so I'm gonna take a couple weeks off and, and you know try to digest what happened and this and that. I don't do that, okay? I have to keep moving forward. Why do I keep moving forward? Because now I have a daughter and I have a family to provide for, and I wanna provide the very best possible life that I possibly can for them. And so how do I do that? How do I provide the best possible life for them? It's by giving it all I have. If I put forth the maximum effort that I can, I'm gonna yield the maximum results possible for me specifically. Everybody has a different potential, okay? And do things differently. So not everybody's gonna have the same results, but don't you wanna be the best you you can be? I do, and that's what gets me up every morning. I start answering those Instagram DMs to try to help you guys get there and to keep pushing through my mission. Then I hit the gym as hard as I can, then I hit the office. I'm gonna make a list of everything I have to do today and bam, I'm gonna start executing. There's no questions, there's no debating, there's no wonder ifs, there's no should I do this, should I do that? I start executing. Maybe I do the wrong thing. Maybe I don't do the most productive activity all day long but I'm not gonna stop moving, okay? Because the moment you stop, then it's gonna take a lot more energy to get that movement headed back in the right direction and build that momentum again, okay? So you wanna push the momentum and just keep pushing and pushing and pushing until you, it's just going so fast that very minimal effort keeps it rolling in the same direction and at that point it's organically growing and you're just out of control. It's just, you've created a monster. Okay guys, that's a quick little update. Just wanna give you a little motivation today. I hope you got some. Let me know if there's anything I can do for you. Hit me in the comments. We'll see you guys on the next video. Let's go.